pleasant, pleasant greeting to every one of you who would be tuning in to this broadcast. I'm Margaret Christine Mullings, and I count it an honor to share some of the poetry, some of my poetry with you, inspirational poetry, and I just would like to share two of them. And the first will be the anvil. Yes, the anvil. And the definition of anvil, an iron or steel block on which metal objects are hammered into shape. And I'm sharing with you from my very first book, Seeds of Hope, Volume 1. Here we go. On the anvil of the master builder himself, in the midst of your greatest pain, you are thrusted toward your purpose and destiny, provided you stay on the anvil and yield yourself to God. While on the anvil, every work of the flesh is chiseled away. Self is dethroned in total surrender. In spite of immense suffering, persecution, and rejection, being misunderstood and lied on, your response to the master builder will be, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Hallelujah. Immediately, immediately, you become his masterpiece, a portrait of the love of Christ that will impact everyone's life you come into contact with. You, yes you, you will bring hope for healing, restoration, deliverance, and complete transformation for the honor and glory of God who loves you. Yes, God loves you so very much. You are a portrait of his love. And the second poem I'd like to share with you is, it's entitled, The Refuge. Yes, The Refuge. Bruised and battered by the storms of life, tossed and driven by the boisterous waves. At times, the water seemed to overflow you and the billows roll over your head. Sinking beneath the sea, the refuge intervenes divinely, he calms the raging sea. Through every fiery trial with great intensity, the fires consume everything around you. Yet, the refuge keeps you intact. The refuge extends an invitation to you, yes, to you. The refuge extends an invitation to you with specific directions, leading you to the path of life. Where is it? Follow his footsteps. The steps of Jesus, they will lead you into the very presence of God, bringing the refuge of his arms, his protection and his healing balm, instantaneous transformation into the very, the very likeness of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 27 says, the eternal God is your refuge. Yes, the eternal God is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy from before you and will say, destroy. Do not delay another day. Enter into the refuge of God's presence. Constantly dwell there in spite of your circumstances and situations of life. Press your way through the refuge. Press your way through to the refuge of life. Jesus Christ is the door to activate. Use the key of confession and a repentant heart. Filled with gratitude and the fruit of your lips. Flowing from your heart with a melody of praise and thanksgiving, entering into his courts with worship and adoration. Do not be content 
to stay in the outer courts. There is a higher call. His presence awaits you there in the inner courts of his presence. The enemy cannot find you there. The refuge has you, yes you, has you in his divine providential care. Enter in today with one purpose, to live and breathe in his presence continually. Oh yes, and I leave with you Psalm 9, from the book of Psalms, Psalm 9, and verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. This is Margaret Christine Mullin saying, it has been a pleasure and an honor being in your presence. God bless you. God continue to keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious unto you. Blessings.